The Miller School experience is transformational, innovative experience. It goes way beyond your typical medical school preparation. Stick around for intel on the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine. Thank you for joining me on my channel. This is Write Your Acceptance. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. Hi, I'm Dr. Josie with Write Your Acceptance. I coach students on their personal statements in secondary, so let's get started. So the Miller School of Medicine has a lot to boast about. Accomplished faculty, incredible research, and experience spanning decades. We'll go into a little bit of the history, but here's their mission statement. So from the design of the first cardiopulmonary simulator, Harvey, for medical education to our seminal contributions in the field of cellular therapeutics, the Miller School remains at the forefront of advances in clinical care, medical education, and translational medicine. So they have a ton of accolades. They're ranked number one in their ophthalmology department program, and they have the Sylvester Comprehensive Cancer Center, and it's the only NCI designated cancer center in the region. So let's get into a little bit of their history. The Leonard Miller School of Medicine was founded in 1952. It was the first medical school in the state of Florida. It now, I'll tell you, includes 21 clinical departments, six basic science departments, 45 centers and institutes, 23 administrative groups, and 1,400 faculty members. It is pretty competitive in the rankings. It continues to move up. As of about 2017, it was 44. They, in the last few years, have had a very interesting kind of strategic evolution and growth as a program. They are under the stewardship of Dr. Henry Ford. He is Dean and Chief Academic Officer. And there's this culture of change and adaptability in a positive way, I think, that we should note because it's very easy to say, you know, we value diversity or kind of we value this or that, um, serving our community. And most medical schools do, absolutely. But not many will share their kind of in internal conversations and emphasis and work on this type of principles. So, and UM does, uh, so I wanted to kind of share that with you. I'm gonna link all of these in the description, but I wanted to kind of share that in October 2018, Dean Ford engaged Brandeis University to kind of do like an external review of the program, in particular kind of the faculty members and how they were feeling about their position within the program, about kind of compensation, ethos, work ethic, professionalism, diversity, all that stuff. And basically within, it took a few months and then they kind of got this very lengthy report and they basically had like five themes that they wanted to work on or that they were successfully doing already. And those were mentoring, gender equity, research faculty, diversity, and institutional factors. Right away, UM kind of enacted 85 small, but kind of very quick changes to their program kind of, you know, mandates and practices. And so a lot of them improved four domains, institutional culture, which is very, very important for med students, right? Research and development, compensation in faculty affairs and professional development. So those are the kind of the four domains that they worked on. So let's talk about curriculum. The University of Miami has what they call the Next Gen MD curriculum. It has six hospitals that students kind of gain experience from, 40 specialty clinics, and about 3,000 teaching beds. In fact, the UM Jackson Medical Center is the second busiest medical center in the country. They have nearly 60,000 admissions, 12,000 surgeries, 7,000 deliveries, 102,000 emergency cases, and more than 500,000 adult outpatient every year. So when you enter as a medical student at the Miller School, you kind of are part of one of 12 academic societies, and it's a great kind of mentorship that the medical program has kind of enacted for med students. So the academic societies allow for, encourage a mentorship process that will kind of stay with the student and support the student throughout their medical education but then also even help with the residency application process so that's a great kind of support system built in for success as a med student there another dimension of the miller experience and my favorite um, to chat about with students is the community outreach opportunities so i just wanted to plug this idea for a second. Hopefully you're watching this video to learn more about the miller school of medicine at um but maybe you are applying already and you are about to write um, your secondaries. This is a great video to kind of really learn the particulars of how you see yourself living and learning in this program. Um, too many times when students are writing their secondaries, you can be bombarded by the, you know, a number, sheer number of secondaries you need to write about. And then the why us 
secondaries kind of start to sound a little generic. I will link below, I have a template that students can work through, but this is the type of specificity and detail that really robust research of the program and getting to know the program will allow you to make a better, stronger case for best fit, right? So name me the specific community outreach, service projects, kind of content, connecting them with what you've already done, probably that may be interesting. So there is the first one, and these are just a few highlights, but the first one is the Wolfson Docs. And so this is founded in 2000, and they got a nice kind of injection of funds in 2006, and were able to kind of grow. They basically bring health screenings and preventative care to over 1500 patients. They do health fairs in about eight kind of underprivileged pockets of the Miami and South Florida communities and so they are really doing some very very important work the some of the screenings are for hypertension diabetes vision loss obesity depression colon breast cancer cervical and skin cancer um, so it's a very very robust team to serve our our community the next one is the idea exchange this was the first legal program in Florida and it identifies newly infected individuals with HIV and help them kind of educate them into accessing treatment as soon as possible. Another one is the Shop Docs. It was founded in 2016 and it brings preventative care and education to the black community in barber shops from blood pressure testing while men get their hair cut to um, discussions on nutrition and exercise and blood pressure and heart disease. Um, it really kind of is an interesting, um, great way of learning about the community here and kind of meeting patients where they're at. The next one is Pediatric Mobile Clinic. And so this serves underserved, underprivileged communities in Miami-Dade. They set up near schools, near churches, and try to kind of serve as many children as possible in the community. Although there's definitely more, the last one I'll chat about is the Sylvester Comprehensive Cancer Center's Firefighter Cancer Initiative. So the primary goal is to really learn about why there is such a high case of cancer among the firefighting community. It's to better document and to better understand kind of lifestyle and dangers of the field and how they could be addressed better. The cool thing about this firefighter initiative is that they're also kind of uh, developing new ways to reduce the risk. So it's not only kind of learning and documenting what is going on in this profession, but also kind of how to help reduce the, the cancer risks. So let's move on to clinical and research experiences as a Miller medical student. Like I mentioned, they are the best in ophthalmology by US News and World Reports. They have been number one for 19 times and they have quite a few research centers to learn about. Center for Hereditary Retinal Disease, Ocular Epidemiology Research Group, Biostatistics Center. Um, they also have the Retinal and Macular Degeneration Research. Um, you also have the Sylvester Cancer Research Center. And so if you've been doing work in cancer research of any kind, that may be interesting to kind of link in your secondaries. Are you applying to the UM um, Miller School of Medicine? Comment below, we'd love to know. Okay, so let's move on to class profile and details on getting in. So each year the class looks like just shy of 200, so 198 students as the entering class. Uh, about 150 go into the MD program and about 48, so just shy of 50, go into the MD-PhD program. You have to be a U.S. citizen or permanent resident to begin the program. Because the state of Florida doesn't subsidize, this is a private program, private university, there is no longer a preferential treatment to a Florida residents. The CASPER test is required, so that is something to look into for sure. And so how does the application kind of process go? An application is scored individually by three panel members, admission committee members. So the factors are GPA, MCAT, diversity of experience, this is where the personal statement comes in clutch, right? Meaningful patient contact, again, very important to show those patient-centric experiences and lessons learned in your personal statement and activity section, right? And so then the kind of the scores are tabulated and then they go from like highest um, students ranked or points system, right? So the students that receive the highest points will start uh, being invited for interviews first. 
the average GPA of kind of undergraduate GPA for their entering class was at a 3.7, a 3.6 for science. And the MCAT kind of average is 505 to 515. I always love to know what students majored in. And so they actually have this on the site. I will link it below. From one class profile, they had anthropology, biochemistry, biology, biomed engineering, chemistry, classics, economics, English, foreign language, genetics, human biology. Um, international relations, mathematics. So they do have a wide range of pre-meds coming in with as long as you have your pre-med classes, right? With other um, interests and focuses. They also have their match percentages and where students matched for the last 10 years on their site. So I'll definitely link that below. I hope you found this video helpful to kind of get an idea of the Miller School and what they have to offer. And if you're writing those secondaries, this is super, super important um, to make sure that you are kind of, you know, really giving a specific compelling case as to why this is the best fit for you. And if you are in the process of writing your personal statement, you can um, book your free strategy call with me and learn how I work with students. That is in the description below. My template for the why us and the secondaries are below. You got some goodies down there. So um, thanks for watching. Give us a like if you found it helpful and I'll see you soon. Bye.